Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time? Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe I didn't choose golf. It more it chose me. It was destiny. Ah, sorry! Flippin' neck. Where I come from, the only job was the shipyard. But I did have ambitions, of course. If you could do anything in the whole world, what would you do? Drink Guinness. <laughs> Pretty soon. My own dreams were put on hold. Hello and welcome to the fan carpet. I'm Anna Fenn and we are here at the UK premiere of The Phantom of the Open, ahead of its release in UK and Irish cinemas on the 18th of March. We are here tonight to talk to the cast ahead of its release of its fabulous new film. I'm so excited to speak to the cast tonight and we can't wait to share it with you. Hi Jake, so lovely to speak to you. How are you doing today? I'm alright, how are you? Very good, thank you. Um, so yeah, tell us about your character and we want to see how do they evolve throughout the film. Uh, so I play the eldest son of the in the Flickcroft family um, and I'm kind of sometimes at loggerheads with Morris's endeavours of what he wants to do uh, and kind of challenge him at points into his aspirations of what he gets up to. Amazing. And how was it working with such a star cast? Did you, were you, were, was there anyone there that you were like, oh my goodness, I really wanted to work with them and I'm so glad that this has provided the opportunity to do so? Yeah, well, uh, I think everyone was amazing. I mean, Craig tomorrow was brilliant and yeah, like, yeah, it was really nice to work with him. And obviously Mark and Sally. And I worked with Sally previously a bit before, so it was nice to kind of work with her a bit more. But everyone was lovely. It was really, like, supportive. And we filmed, obviously, in lockdown where we couldn't do much. So it's quite nice to have everybody all, like, positive whilst we was filming. And positivity is such an important part of this film. How do you think you are as a person? Would you call yourself a po an optimist uh, or a pessimist? Uh, optimist, I'd like to think so. But, I mean, sometimes, you know, sometimes it can be difficult. But I think you might as well try and see the light and everything and this film does that very much so um, and it's great it's kind of and it also shows you that it doesn't really matter about the outcome of what happens but it's about kind of the process as corny as it sounds if you can enjoy that then it's good absolutely and when you talk about process do you use that same process in your acting career how do you approach a text when you get given a script yeah um, yeah I suppose uh, yeah I've, I've got like certain things that I try and do I mean always try and find the truth in it which is an obvious thing to say but as long as you're doing that and connecting with you somehow then hopefully you're onto a winner I mean might be the judge of that I don't know that's so exciting. And how, um, what was your favourite part of the film? I mean, obviously, as you said, it was shot during lockdown, so that was a huge thing to be filming. But being on set, what was your favourite part? Um, I think, I don't know, I think kind of, I got to drive an old car. That was quite cool. Quite hard to drive. I mean, it was amazing. And because it was set, like, in the 70s, that was quite amazing to see all, like, the aesthetics and stuff and what they built. Um, but, I mean, I mean, it's not really an answer for everything. I mean, there was a lot of, like, laughter involved as well which is great and that was really nice to kind of have going on um, but yeah yeah it was all it was all pretty enjoyable it seems like a really lovely family unit like you and the other actors have created on set will you miss anyone out that the filming process is done is there anyone you still stay in contact with yeah I still I'm now and again chat to the twins still speak to Craig I mean I speak to most people still yeah it was really nice and because we did film in that lockdown and we didn't have too much else kind of going on because you couldn't do too much it was nice that we had a bit more time which I was I suppose to kind of build that but yeah no still massively in contact with most people involved amazing and what's next for you after this um, not doing just back to auditioning doing bits bobs um, did a series that come out on channel 4 not too long ago so hopefully some other bits and bobs will come through 
amazing. Well, we can't wait to follow your, your success and enjoy the screening tonight. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Sure. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. You too. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more. Whatever happens, no one can say you didn't try. What a great opening drive. Have they got the real Morris Flitcroft? <laughs> oh, I think that's him. Morris Flitcroft. Severiano Ballesteros. You what? Solo llámame Seve. What's he? Seve? Seve? Hasta entonces. Right, yeah. Uh, hasta cojones. I'm here on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.